Good morning, Coronado. Welcome back to another episode of Cougar TV. I'm Ethan Oaken. And I'm Olivia Gillum. Music has changed a lot over time, but somehow classical music has stood the test of time. Our very own orchestra is home to some extremely talented musicians under the tutelage of Mr. Jacobson. Hi, I'm Carly Dietz, I'm a junior. I'm Oriana Dunn, I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Nora Kelman, I am a sophomore. My name is Raina Bennett, I'm a junior. My name is Sebastian Walters and I'm in the 12th grade. My name is Elsie Dort, and I'm a junior. My name is Jillian Hixenbaugh, and I'm a sophomore. Technically, orchestra is string instruments. We don't play nearly as loud as percussion and brass instruments, but um, it's still music all the same. Chamber orchestra requires you to practice pretty much. Like in symphonic orchestra, it's pretty chill, and you can just play the music. And also chamber orchestra has harder music too. So we compete. Um, we compete at the Chass Festival every year and we get rated on a scale of uh, one to three. And one is a superior, so you always want to try to aim for the lower score, kind of like in golf. And we also go on trips every spring break. So last year it was to New York. And this year they're going to Washington, D.C. And then next year it's going to be to Anaheim, California. And we get to play in Disneyland. Um, and for Symphonic, they go to Dallas and they get to tour the Cowboy Stadium and aquariums and all kinds of fun stuff like that. It's, it's just so jam-packed full of emotion for me. Um, I have a very strong connection to playing in a group and being taught by teachers who really care about what they're doing. Because it's scientifically proven that people who play an instrument um, do better like on tests and stuff like that so it's it'll help you in like your academic classes as well. I think orchestra creates leadership for people. Um, it forms friendships and music is really important for people to have because it's art. The big I think I learned like how to really like connect with people in a way like with like with my stayed partner I would like it's like a way to like get to like connect with someone and like know them better and like also like you're playing as a whole group like as a team Coronado is home to all sorts of people from different backgrounds, and it is surely one of the things that makes it a great learning environment. So, I introduce to you Gabe Watson, one of our unique faces in the crowd of Coronado's student body. Hey, how you doing? My name is Gabriel Watson. I'm a senior at Coronado High School. Uh, I went here about three years. Uh, my freshman year, I went to Vista Ridge. Uh, I came here for a better change. I uh, I lived in Colorado all my life. Um, I'm, I was born in Denver. Um, lived there, um, then spent another part of my life in Grand Junction, and I've been in. Uh, Colorado Springs for about seven, eight years. Well, I mean, education-wise, they're very flexible. They uh, will do, like, there are certain things yeah, I've asked for that, uh, for, like my counselors and all that, for to help me educationally, and uh, I, I never thought they would even bend that way. One tomorrow. Got a question, is that? <laughs> Catch you later. Catch you later. All right. The script was not completed. And now an interview of Gene Drive. Yes, that's right. Somebody actually wrote that as a sentence of our script. So what's the reason you started this whole Gene Drive thing? I started it off wanting to win a scholarship, but later realized there are people here at Coronado who don't have as much clothes as others, and I wanted to get back to my community, so I'm holding the Gene Drive. How do you guys give it to people? Do you donate it in the school, or do you... What do you do? Um, so we are collecting all genes in front of the school next to Miss Chapelier's room. 
and uh, then we do donate them to Aeropostale and they pass them on to the homeless teens. Where do you guys get the jeans from? Uh, I want you students to bring jeans and help out your own community and I just hope this is a way to get people more involved as well. Wow, how kind. Indeed. Do you like to read? If so, Reader's Guild might be the right club for you. We talk to the leaders of the guild to see what might interest new members. Um, Reader's Guild is a really cool club we established about 10 years ago um, and basically what we do is we have a group of really cool kids that come together and we talk about cool books. Uh, mostly we talk about what we're reading at the time but we usually just want to bring out something that we've read in the past that we would try to convince other people to read and then we also bring in all kinds of new books and new materials that I don't know about to add to our library. I think people should join because it's a great community. Um, you share books that you like but you never really feel pressured to read and we have a lot of members who it takes them three or four months to get through a book but they still come and share their progress with the book and um, it's just it's a great club it's a great small little community that we have here where it's a safe environment to talk about books and what we like to read. Um, new, new members are going to, it's, it's, it's a fun group. So we're, we all, we all, we all really have fun talking about our books and it's fun to, you know, laugh and joke with the team about just, or the club, about, you know, what you're reading and what you think is good and then everybody's got a different opinion about it, which is great. Um, and then everybody supports everybody, but it's, it's fun to just, um, they hear about books you never heard about and books kids are really, really excited and really reading. It's, it's awesome. Readers Guild is now meeting um, every Wednesday during both first and second lunch in Miss Nagel's room, which is room 219, I believe. Just It's going to be a really fun experience, and I'm really glad to be able to share it with the Coronado community. Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe I should go sometime. Well, it's time to check out our sports scores for the week. Girls basketball lost to Air Academy 62-23. to Boys basketball beat Air Academy 61-57. to Wrestling beat Fountain Fort Carson 36-8. to Hockey lost to Pine Creek 4-1. to Girls swimming placed fourth in the, in the 5A CSML meet. As winter sports start winding down, we decided to do a feature piece on one of our school record-holding divers. months old. I competed from when I was seven to when I was 15. Well, so I stopped doing gymnastics in the beginning of my junior year and I decided, you know what, I'm not doing gymnastics anymore. I still want to do another sport. Um, I used to swim when I was little and I was like, maybe I'll try diving now. <laughs> I heard gymnasts are good at it. <laughs> Been doing it for a little over a year, like about 16 months. I'm very glad I made this switch. I like it a lot. <laughs> really made a huge impact on our swim and dive team since she joined last year, contrary to the small splash she makes when she hits the water. And now, a word from our sponsors. TV is our school news network here at Coronado. You can watch our episodes every Wednesday at Cougar, at Cougar Connection. 
If you are interested in joining Cougar TV, you must have taken video production one and two. Or if you're a senior, then contact Mr. Phillipson in room 415 and ask for his approval. If that's not incentive enough, Cougar TV can also be considered an honors credit. Stay classy, Stay classy Coronado. Coronado. I'm Mr. Phillipson and I approve this message. That wraps up another episode of Cougar TV. I'm Ethan Oaken. And I'm Olivia Gillum. Stay classy, Coronado. Oh, wait, what? No. You sure? All right. It, like are my, we actually filming right now? My, are you doing okay, bud? Yeah, all right. I don't have that many nails. I only have two. <laughs> actually wrong. Mr. Philipson is laughing, but I can tell he just wants to cry instead. <laughs> he does not. It's backwards. Ready? Um, no, just we can't read it. Flip the, do the, do the flip. Bring it. The, tele, the teleprompter. <laughs> Boss. Okay. And now it's upside down and backwards. <laughs> there you go. There we go, that's, that's perfect. Okay. 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 This is in the crowd of Coronado's student body. That was terrible. That was really bad. Can we do that one? So, gold team didn't do their script. No, they didn't. And I had to, I even had to remind them of right now. Varsity gold? More like actually 